Hello and welcome to my Module 7 Studio Practice 1 presentation for Task 10 of the Assignment Brief. Um, these are the main assignment tasks we were asked to do. There was 10 different tasks we were asked to do, um, starting with brainstorming and looking at all the briefs in general. Um, so there was various research carried out um, and thumbnails and sketches and ideas made for five different briefs. Um, along with brainstorms as well, just to try and get a feel into the brief um, and some other sketches and ideas for the other briefs that I didn't select in the end. Um, the brief that I chose was monotype, mainly because I enjoyed the um, freedom of this brief and the ability to promote any cause that I am passionate about. Um, I began by researching monotype um, and font psychology as this was a typography-based assignment brief. Um, the cause that I chose was mushroom medicine. Um, now, being a very controversial topic, there was extensive research carried out for this task before I could begin my design ideas and concepts. Um, there's a short summary about my research in general. Um, and then we moved into project brainstorming, mind mapping and mood boards um, and a colour palette for this brief. Um, I researched some typography-based designers, looking at Lex Wilson, Jed Palmer, and finally the work of Charles Williams, who I took inspiration from for my design. Um, I reviewed my brainstorms, mind maps, and mood boards after researching these three designers um, and added some extra information and updating my ideas. Um, my first concept was this design based and inspired by um charles williams my second concept my third concept my fourth concept my fifth concept and my final concept after looking back at all of these and discussing with my tutor this was the concept i decided to take forward and and develop even more um before i did so i had to consider some unconscious bias um overall the design is fairly neutral and non-offensive um, however, there were some minor adjustments that I made based on the unconscious bias um, to back up what I'd said even more. Um, I progressed with some poster designs and ideas first. Um, these are displayed here um, and then developed those posters even further after picking one and moving it forward and experimenting with it even further. Um, the one highlighted in green is the one I decided to take forward. Um, next, we had um, some experimenting with some design um, elements. So I experimented with visual hierarchy, texture, proximity, color contrast, um, which backs up why my design is neutral colors um, and um, quite natural to look at and organic. Um, my other concept was a tote bag. And my, my other concept was a Facebook ad, um, sticker ideas, banner designs, um, and Instagram stories. I could only pick three to fulfill the brief. So the three that I decided to choose was a poster. This was specified in the brief that I had to pick a poster. So this was the poster that I picked and some images that put it into perspective. Um, and in Stitchu, the poster is clear, legible, there's good hierarchy, there's only three fonts on there, um, and it's very clear and concise as to what it portrays. Um, my next digital touch point was the Instagram stories. These are very diverse. It's a very popular platform, and the Instagram stories can be used for a multitude of purposes, um, from interactive uses, such as polls and questions, to purely displaying information, offers for subscriptions, promotion codes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, these designs were mocked up in Stitchu, as you can see on a real Instagram story. And finally, the design, the third touch point was a tote bag. Again, this is neat, clean, distinctive to the campaign and can be given out or sold at events. There was a final critical evaluation here, which puts together all my work um, and explains um, the key points about these designs and why I've chosen what I have chosen. Um, the design is retro, it's clean, crisp, and neutral in colours. It's very versatile and flexible. Um, the Instagram stories in particular are a great touch point for modern day society. Um, and that 
those are my final concepts for this project.